Cataractcoach.com. Cataract quiz. Where did the holes come from? The nucleus is removed, and then you see these two posterior capsule holes. Now, here's the beginning of the age, so I can show you. The posterior capsule is definitely intact here. There's no injection trauma from an interventional injection. There's no posterior polar cataract. This is a routine cataract case. Look how nice that red reflex is. Again, the mystery in this case is a tough one, and I don't know the answer. But I do know about RetinaRounds.com, our new sister channel. Check it out. On YouTube, it's at RetinaRounds. Also, go to RetinaRounds.com. Sign up for the free daily email. I promise you're going to have so much fun with a new video every single day. Now, here's the case, nucleus removal. We sped up the video here in order to get through it in a timely manner. And now, nucleus removal looks pretty good. Again, this is at 4x speed. That's good. Again, cleaning all this up. Chop, chop, chop. Let's see the technique here. Okay, a little groove, a little pit down the middle. Maybe, a, is that a dividing conger? It looks like more like a groove for a pit, for a chop. Yep, there's the chop. Here you go. Maybe like a hor oh, vertical chop, no horizontal chop. There we go. Split that nucleus, get that propagated through. Pretty dense cataract here. Certain spends about five minutes on the nucleus removal, so we sped that up to get through it in about a minute or so. And again, taking the pieces out. Again, everything behaves normally. Look at the fluidics. Everything looks normal. I don't think there's any complication here just yet of the posterior capsule. So we're going to chop a nice chop there, beautiful chop. And surgeon's going to chop it again, maybe. There you go. And take these pieces out. Now let's watch carefully as the pieces are removed from the eye. Is there going to be contact with the posterior capsule with that phaco tip? So taking these pieces out, looking good. Um, okay, aspirate those, get them down. And so far, so good. Let me slow down the video here. Let's go back to normal 1x speed. Here you go, taking out that last piece. Now, poster caps looks okay. Chopper's in that safe position, protecting the bag. And now, removing these pieces, watch carefully. And not much cortex remaining. Getting those out. And capsule looks okay, right? And take that last piece. Oh, was there something? Yeah, there's holes in the bag already. Look at that. Now, was that just what happened? Did it, the capsule bounce up and then touch the phaco tip and cause these couple little breaks? Because clearly there are two holes there, a larger one and a smaller one. That's my guess. I mean, what do you think? Put a comment below. We're learning together here. We're using the collective brains of the whole cataract coach audience here, thousands of ophthalmologists, injecting the viscoelastic. That's a smart idea. Like the viscoelastic going in here. Go to position zero on the foot pedal now. Now come out of the eye. Whew, what are you going to do here? Now, I don't think there's any vitreous prolapse. I think the anterior hyaline face is intact, especially because those holes are so small. To me, it's likely that that last piece of nucleus removal, it, the capsule came up and just touched the tip of the phaco probe. Tup! Fraction of a second and made that little hole there. And I don't think there's any prolapse. So widening up the incision with the diamond, that was good. Let's get the lens in. You probably put your lens right in the bag. Your regular lens just don't have too much manipulation. Get it in the bag and slowly open it up. And don't move it around too much. Just leave it be. Luckily, it looks like a non-toric lens. So just it can go in any position. Nice and easy. And let's take out viscoelastic. Should you go behind the optic here? Oh, I like this idea. Hydrate the incision first. And then maybe make, settle this lens in. Watch out some viscoelastic. I still think you can go behind the lens optic to remove the remaining viscoelastic. So what I do is I would go in slower. And in other words, less flow rate. Cut the aspiration flow rate in half. Maybe cut the vacuum level, leave it in half. Just go in there gently. Here's in front of the optic. Let's say we're going to go behind it. Yeah, go behind it. Be gentle. Don't have too much manipulation of that bag. If you need to leave, leave a little viscoelastic behind the eye well optic, leave it be. Not that big of a deal. And there you can see those are the two holes. <clears throat> so round holes like that, my suspicion is it's from the FACO tip. I think there's a frame back there, a video frame where... You had a little capsule touching the probe just for a fraction of a second. And I like this idea, too. Make sure the AC stays formed. Don't collapse the AC. Let's seal up the incisions. Hmm. So, again, what are you thinking? Clearly, there's a hole in the capsule. To me, it's a round tip. Oh, like the size of the FACO tip. The second one was maybe, you know, just a, a barely touched it. That's what I think it was. What do you think? I want your comments below. We've got to learn together here. And if you have an interesting case like this, 
or especially a complication. Notice how this case is anonymous? Yeah, you can submit yours too. Go to cataractcoach.com, not YouTube. T tab that says, submit your videos here. And I have full directions how to send your video to me. And we'd love to feature. We can all learn together. Here, look at this post-op day one. Pow, you can see those holes. Again, what do you think happened? Leave a comment below. And remember, check out retinarounds.com.